हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्स पॉट दिस इज मी हरीश गोपाले सो बेसिकली इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लिप फ्लॉप स्पेसिफिकली डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके वी नो दैट इन डिजिटल सर्किट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सर्किट्स कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट्स एंड सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट सो बेसिकली फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज अ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट विच इज यूज टू स्टोर वन बीट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ इट हैज टू स्टेबल स्टेट्स either 0 and 1 and can be switched based on the input signals most of the times we use flip flops as they are sensitive to the active edge of the clock that means during the one clock a period data is sampled either on the positive edge of the clock or negative edge of the clock okay the main advantage of flip flop is uh, the data is stable for one clock cycle now there are different types of flip flops are there in digital electronics that is sr flip flop d flip flop D flip flop and JK flip flop, but in this video we are going to discuss about D flip flop only. Now again, D flip flop is categorized into two types: positive edge sensitive D flip flop and negative edge sensitive D flip flop. So let's discuss first positive edge sensitive D D flip flop. So if I talk about the functionality of positive edge triggered D flip flop, so it has two inputs: input D and clock, and one output that is Q. Okay, so when uh clock is on the positive edge when the clock transition from 0 to 1 that is on the positive edge then the d flip flop samples the uh, value at the d input and transfer the value out at the, to the output q okay when the clock transition from 1 to 0 that is on the negative edge okay then the d flip flop ignores the d input uh, input and holds the current value at the q output whatever the current value of q that will be hold in the output q so this is the truth table of a positive edge trigger d flip flop when if there is a clock high then only d will be transferred to the output q if there is no passage then uh, q will be hold the current value okay uh, you can see the waveform uh, where we are having a clock input d and output q so here clock is toggling at 5 nanosecond and my initial clock started from neg edge and if you see and as i already told you if there is no positive edge means indirectly it is neg edge so uh, output q will hold the current value and current value of q is what unknown that is why it shows the unknown now at this passage my d is going high so you can see output is also going high from this passage to this passage output is still high but at this neg edge if you see my d is goes low but as i already told you if there is no passage then output q hold will hold the current value and current value is what high so output you can see high still high here now at this passage my input d is low so you can see output is low here now at this neg gauge my input goes high but still my output is low why because if there is no passage means indirectly it is neg gauge so it is holding the current value and current value of q is what low that is why low here now at this passage my output is my sorry my input is high so output is also you can see high at this negative from this negative to this passage my input is low but uh, if there is if there is a negative so it will hold the current value and current value was what high so you can see higher at this passage again my input goes high so output is also goes high okay now if i talk about the working and functionality of uh, negative edge triggered d flip flop so it is reverse of the positive edge triggered d flip flop it is having same inputs that is d and clock and the output q but the functionality is changing here what the functionality is when the clock transits from 1 to 0 that is falling edge falling edge then the d flip flop samples the value at the d input and transfer the value at the uh, value to the output q in positive edge edge trigger d flip flop it was sampling the value on the positive edge and it will sample the value on the negative edge okay when the clock transition from 0 to 1 that means no falling edge indirectly it is uh, rising edge then the d flip flop ignores the d input and holds the current value of the q output okay if you see the truth table when clock is on the falling edge then uh, input d will be transferred to the output output will hold the current value of inputs if there is no falling edge then it will hold the current value of whatever it is okay if it is unknown it will hold the unknown if it is zero it will hold the zero okay if you see the truth table again the clock is toggling at 5 and 5 nanosecond okay now if you see 
uh, D is low, input is low, and the uh, in clock is uh, negative. And as I told you, uh, negative H trigger T flip flop will sample the value on the negative. So if input D is uh, low, out you can see output is low. From this negative to this negative, output is still low. Though the output is goes high, and as I already told you, if there is uh, no negative, then it will hold the current value. At this passage. Uh, though the my value of d is high it has it is holding the current value my current value was what low here okay now at this negative my d input goes high so you can see from this negative to this negative my output is high okay from this negative to this negative my input is goes low so output is also goes low okay now from this negative to this negative my again out my input is high so my output is high now from this negative to the passage my input is low so you can see my output is also low but at this passage my input goes high but as i already told you if there is no negative then it will hold the current value of q and current value of q at this negative is zero so it is holding zero only though the input goes high now at this negative it sees the input goes high so output it shows as high okay so this is what the working functionality of negative h triggered b flip flop now in this video we saw the working and functionality of positive h trigger d flip flop and negative h trigger d flip flop now i will stop the video here if you are watching this video then please click on the like button if you are new to this youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much